So we're in the process now of learning skills. And I'm much more interested in <clears throat> this because without these skills, uh, you just will not be able to do the things that the message is asking you to do. You know, when we practice inner listening, it's not to get things. An answer, I need an answer. Or to have an insight. I had an insight. I don't think insights are worth very much, actually, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, we practice the great practices to develop skills, to re-employ the mind, to build, develop new neural pathways of how the mind is going to function, a new way of responding to other people, responding to conflict, responding to beauty, responding to degradation. We're building skills to be able to be in the world in a new way. And we're doing this in such a way that we become immortal beings in the world to be of service rather than being in the world with some vague notion of our own that we have a greater life somewhere, somehow, above and beyond this existence. Instead of being trapped by the world, we're being fed by heaven. So our practice now is skill building, and I want you to really think about that. <clears throat> this is not a reward system where every time you practice, you get a reward. Every time you do a trick, you get a cookie. Good boy. No, we're practicing to become strong and competent. There's no emphasis on mastery here. The emphasis on competence, functionality. In fact, the new message says there are no masters living in the world. The mastery is beyond anything that can be achieved here. So let's take that out of the picture. Anyone who claims to be a master or appears to be a master is still a student in the world. So many things have to be taken out of the picture for the way to become clear, you see? Things that people fixate upon or think are very, very important. You have to be relieved because we're losing energy to all these things, you know? It's like the vessel has all kinds of little leaks in it. They've got to be plugged up or it can't hold anything. So that's why <clears throat> the journey, much of the journey, is about undoing, about creating openness, space, freeing up energy, and allowing your mind to be reshaped and guided by knowledge.